guys, it is Tanya and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another speed build. Today I'm working on another installment of the Squish. This is an eco tiny home that is heavily inspired by the announcement of the next Sims 4 expansion pack, Eco Lifestyle. That pack is not out yet. It comes out on June 5th and I'm super excited about it because it's kind of a new concept in that we've never had that in previous games before. Whereas a lot of things we do have, university, cats and dogs, seasons, are all things that we've come to expect with The Sims. So this is kind of a new territory. And the world looks really interesting. It's more of an industrial place. Uh, I believe it's called Evergreen Harbor. And I'm very excited to build there. So if you guys have any particular suggestions of different eco-inspired houses or establishments that I could build there, please let me know. I've done tons of eco stuff before from tiny houses to regular houses, things that are off the grid. I've done, um, what, what are those called? Oh, Earth ships. Those are really cool too. If you have any suggestions, I'm totally open to hearing about those. I cannot wait to get building because honestly, it, it's been a little bit of a dry spell the last couple of months. Uh, I feel like We've all been itching for new content, so it can't get here soon enough. Uh, but back to this build, I'm making this rooftop garden area and I really like how it came out. I had a lot of fun messing around with the shape of this build, having some funky outdoor stairs, and of course those corner windows from university. And speaking of stairs, this is probably gonna be one of the last tiny homes I built that has stairs in them because we're getting ladders. I am so excited for ladders. Oh my gosh, the loft tiny homes. I'm gonna see if I can make some functional, proper Sims lofts. And I'm very excited about it. I'm like flailing my arms around. You can't see me right now, but like I am excited. And I can't be the only one that's super excited for ladders, right? I know it's six years into the game. It's been a while. We should have had them already. But I'm just pumped to finally have another option to get from floor to floor other than stairs or those teleport things from, oh gosh, what's the name of that pack? Realm of Magic. So that's awesome. Obviously, last was it last year that we got the stairs that are now configurable? That was an awesome, awesome update, but I'm glad we we're getting ladders. I still would like some spiral staircases. It'd be nice if we eventually got functioning elevators. I don't think that's going to happen. They're just kind of teleporters now, but I'm happy to get ladders. I think it's just going to work so nice. It works perfectly with the concept of this this particular pack with the tiny living pack earlier this year. And I'm just, I'm pumped. Uh, you can kind of see I'm trying to figure out a garden space over on the other side. I kind of abandoned that. And honestly, I wish this lot was smaller because I loved placing this house in this area because it's more of a concrete space and kind of, I like the juxtaposition of putting this there. So it kind of sucked that the lot was a little bit bigger and I had to figure out how to fill up the other side, but we ended up putting some water over here and I think that worked pretty well. Do you ever find yourself stuck using a word and you can't stop saying it? I just listened back to that last couple seconds of what I was saying and how many times can I say the word kinda? Anyway, <laughs> we are uh, working on this water space here. I do have lots of rocks around, mostly from debug. Those really large, longer pieces of rocks are from get together. I really like those ones. I think they look more realistic and they kind of dip under the ground a little bit. So if you raise them up, they still look realistic. They're not floating, which is quite nice. And we are working on the floor plan now. It took me a little while to figure this one out, but I really love how it came out in the end. And this tiny house is for two parents or one parent, either one works and their toddler. And I I love the toddler area. You can see me starting to work on it now. It's like a little nook. It's not like a proper bedroom, but I thought it was adorable. They kind of have their private space because the, I said kind of again, uh, <laughs> the parents have their own bedroom. So the toddler gets the space out here when the parents aren't out here and it's a toddler. So, they, you know, they, they don't need that much private space anyway. And I really, really wanted to make sure that I could fit parents and a toddler in this space. I've gotten requests to do this particular family dynamic before, so I was excited to do that. Uh, but I did have to move stuff around quite a few times because obviously with a toddler, you need to include a potty and a tub. Uh, you don't need a high chair, but I did include one on this lot. I don't personally use high chairs when I play with toddlers. It's really frustrating and quite honestly, just not worth the hassle. You can just feed them on the floor. They're fine with that. It's 
it's a lot easier. Uh, but I did include that if you would like to use the high chair. Also, if you guys would like to download this build, I will have it up on the Sims 4 gallery if you search my origin ID, which is Griffey. And I'll also have it under the hashtag Miss Griffey if it's easier to find it that way, as well as a download link in the description down below to the gallery website. But here we are having an issue with the terrain and the stairs and I sized up a bunch of these little planters here and I thought that looked so nice. I really enjoyed having more of these bright green, more manicured looking plants around this lot. I know in the beginning I had a lot more like lush landscaping, but I quickly abandoned that idea and made it more concrete around here. I don't know why. I just really liked how it looked and it kind of reminded me more of the homes that we saw in the trailers for Evergreen Harbor. So I was definitely channeling those ideas. This is one of those builds where I kept going inside and then back outside and I couldn't make up my mind what part I wanted to work on. And also the camera goes a little bit crazy at the back of this lot if you spin it around because there's a tall wall behind it. So apologies if you see any of that. I tried to cut out as much of that as possible. But right now we're out front adding a mailbox and a trash can. This is not a functional one. It's in debug or show live edit objects. I kind of confuse the two because I always turn both of them on when I'm looking for things. Uh, but the one next to it is use usable. It's just the green one isn't. I just thought it was nice for decoration. It kind of looked like we had a recycling bin as well, which I thought fit this theme pretty well. And then we're adding some lights to connect to the house. I just thought it looked really pretty and added to the look and a little kitty pool out here as well. I changed the color of it a bunch of times. I think we settled on blue in the end, but I did want to include some sort of outdoor activity for the toddler and I thought a little pool would be nice. Um, but the outside is really coming together. We're working on the upstairs balcony. There is a little picnic table and later on towards the end of the build, I will be moving some stuff around up there to bring the barbecue down off of the roof and adding a lounge chair up there. But now we are popping to the inside of the house and I just, I love the layout so much. I was having so much fun with the interior of this home. Use this rounded TV. I got a lot of plants around, this cute little bookcase item from Tiny Living. Also those lights are from Tiny Living. I used those over on the side instead of a floor lamp, having some coming down from the ceiling I thought looked really nice. And then this is sort of supposed to be a desk space. You could use it as a dining table, but we have another dedicated dining table in this space. You definitely have more space than you would need. This uses, I think, either 99 or exactly 100 tiles. It just barely made it into the tiny home residential lot type, but I was really excited to actually get that to work. It took some fiddling. You probably saw me before messing around with some fences on the roof to make sure that it actually fit within the restraints, but we got it in the end. Working on the toddler nook, I think I switched it out for this bed that is a base game bed that we got when Jungle Adventure came out so it would match the style of that pack a little bit more. And I talked over it before, but I added the little height chart on the wall with the teddy bear. He's not a teddy bear, he's a bear, but I, I thought it was so cute and having that in the more public space, especially because the toddler doesn't have a dedicated bedroom, I thought looked really cute. Just adding a bunch of different decorations and toys up on the shelf and then we're gonna be adding a toy box out here as well. I believe I also add the playable stacking cups at some point. Are they called stacking? No, no. The, the, the building blocks. Stacking cups are the toddler toy that I got for my rabbit. She loves them. Uh, but this is the kitchen space. I believe I stuck with these counters and cabinets. They are not a matching set, but I really liked how well the wood tones matched and the mixing of them. So the cabinets are from, are these ones from Spa Day? I think those are the Spa Day ones. I might be wrong. They could be Cool Kitchen. I think they're spa day though. And then the countertops are from Jungle Adventure. They match so well. But anyway, in the kitchen, we do have a full stove and then a mini fridge. And I'm using the same table over here that we used for the desk area as well. I have the high chair in the corner. You saw me throwing the potty in the bathroom because I didn't want to forget that. And then we're going on to decorating the space. I tried to add a tasteful amount of clutter, not making it too overwhelming because I wanted it to be functional for these parents and their toddler. And I was definitely going for a classic Tanya color scheme of brown, black, and white and gray. I just, I love that color scheme so much. And I actually have another build that I am posting later this week that has a color scheme very similar to this. And I'm very excited about that. I actually have two builds coming out later this week that are much larger. I have a 40 by 30 and a 40 by 50. I don't know what's happening, but we have some bigger builds coming and I'm very excited about it. And uh, I've just been in a, a building mood lately, um, but we're adding tons of greenery in here because 
I can't help it. I need to put plants everywhere. I can't wait to see all of the new plants that we're getting with the new pack because I will for sure overuse them because every time I get a new pack, I get obsessed with one plant and I put it everywhere. I know with Tiny Living, it was the hanging succulents. I also really like the tray, but I've never gotten over the plant that came with uh, Dine Out. I put it in every single house. Actually, I'm not sure if I placed it in this house because it is a little bit on the bigger side, but if I did, I will point it out. But hopefully you guys know what plant I'm talking about. I do use it a lot. I love that plant so much, but this is the bathroom. I really enjoyed using this tile in here. I don't think it's meant to be a tile. I don't remember what it is. It's giant though. I think it's more of an outdoor piece, but it looks so nice and modern and I think it fit really well with the pieces that I did put in there. But here we are into the master bedroom. I kept it pretty simple. I put the uh, bed from get famous and tuck that into the wall i love doing that with this bed in particular because i think it's a really cool bed and it has a really cool headboard but it's not versatile but the rest of the bed is so versatile if you just stick it into the wall it's like such a simple bed i really hope we get some more simple pieces of furniture sometime soon uh we haven't seen everything that's in the new pack yet so hopefully there's some new items that are more on the simple side i know a lot of it is more upcycled and i I'm very excited about that. There's some items I've spotted in the trailers that I cannot wait to get my hands on that coffee table, the bookcases. There's so many items. I, I can't even begin to name them, but I'm excited to see everything and see how we can implement those to use them in more instances instead of just one space. So hopefully they're pretty versatile, but here we are making those changes I mentioned earlier, and then we're heading on into screenshots. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all soon. Bye, everybody.